And with that, we'll throw it back to you, James. Clearly very confident, Tony. Thanks. Now, when you're juggling numbers like that, it is easy to get a little superstitious about the outcome. But happily, some fans think that they have the fate of the Sens in the palm of their hands. Do you have any game night superstitions? Our superstition is we're not going to put our shirts on tonight because the night we put our shirts on, they lost. <laughs> so they're not going on tonight. <laughs> what we won't do to see our Senators win, even if it does involve a little hocus pocus. If I see that Toronto's ahead at the beginning, okay, I will not watch the whole game. I only flip back and forth and watch the score. Now, every time I do that, the Sens win. In the cutthroat and competitive world of NHL hockey, superstitions are nothing unusual, but they can be a little haphazard, with one fan relying on a well-worn game jersey and another one clutching a lucky rabbit's foot. Now, obviously, for Game 7, the Sens need something a little more systematic on their side, and we just may have the answer. Tell us about your fiancé. Priestess Miriam. She is what the layperson would call a voodoo priestess? Oh, yes. Alan Villeneuve is engaged to that voodoo priestess, and tonight she'll be doing her bit for the Sens from her temple in New Orleans. The invocations are through the um, deities and you bring them towards your spiritual side to gain success. Sort of a spiritual turbocharge for the Senators. Uh, exactly right. So we're going to cheer for the Ottawa Senators, huh? Yeah. That... So we well, once you've invoked the help of the spirit world to get the sense passed around one, well, you may say you've done all you can, and fair enough. But on the other hand, you never know. And here in Barhaven, there's at least one fan who says that the best thing he can do is nothing at all. When I come in to any Senators game that I've been watching, we seem to, and especially an important one, we seem to lose it. When I don't watch them, they seem to win. So I, I walk away. I've learned that the best thing to do is to hear about it the next day. By the way, we have a superstitious fan right here at the new RO. That's Peter Lindors, the man who shot the story you just saw. Pete says if the Sens win, that means he's always had a spaghetti dinner right before the game. And he's home preparing the pasta right now. Ahead tonight on News 6 Ottawa. A strong Colorado 